Hi YouTube! Today I want to show you how to access the SBI bus with a Raspberry Pi and Python. And what I want to do is I want to control this 8-bit GPIO expander. If you don't like Python or if you prefer to program in C, I have also made a video how to access the SBI bus in C. And I will put a link to it in the description. So here I'm using the MCP23S08 um, 8-bit I.O. expander with a serial interface. And this pin here has I score C and this device has SBI um, serial interface. And first we have to connect this pin to our device. So let's talk about the connections. The first connection here is we have to connect um, pin 18 to 3.3 volts and we have to connect pin 9 to ground. So let's do this here too. Okay, then let's talk about the serial interface. We have um, here, I want to use SBI0 here. And so I have to connect the um, SBI clock to pin 1. I have to connect mouse input slave output to pin um, 3. And I have to connect, um, I will not this color here, this is better, master output slave input to pin 2. And we have to connect chip select, but we have two available here. We could use chip select 0 or chip select 1. And here in my case, I will use chip select 1, but you can use chip select 0 too. I will show you how to use or how to select the chip select from Python. Okay, here the address lines, I will pull them to 0. And here we have a reset pin. So if we um, pull this pin to ground level, the device will be in reset. And I want to use the device, so I will use a pull-up resistor here. And so the device will not be in reset, but if I want to, I can connect ground here and then the device will be in reset. But I don't want to do this here now. And if you use such a pull-up resistor, please use a big uh, high impedance value like 10 kilo ohms would be a good value. Okay, and I have also added an LED, which I've connected to GPIO0. So here we have an LED and a resistor. This time the resistor is a little bit smaller. I think I've used 480 ohms here, which is a good value. And here at this pin, I've connected a button. So here we have a push button, and this is connected to 3.3 volts here. And here I have a pull down resistor, so the pin is not floating. And again, here 10 kilo ohms is a good value for a pull down resistor. So, so much for the um, connections. Now let's talk about how to program the chip. So, here in this document, we can find a register map ping. So, here we can see all the registers which are available for this device. And I will only go through the relevant for our use case. So here at address 0, we have the I.O. direction register. So here we can set each bit to be an input or an output. For example, if I set bit 0 here to 0, it will be an output. If I set it to 1, it will be an input. At address 9, we have the GPIO data register. And here we can read back the current value of the GPIOs. So if this pin is connected to ground, I will read a zero here. If it's connected to 3.3 volts, I will read a one here. And the last important um, register for us is at um, address A or 10 decimal. And this is the output latch um, register. So here I can set the output values of my output pins. So when I write a value in this register, they will be only um, seen on the pin if I have configured the corresponding bit to be an output. And how do I transfer a byte? First, let's talk about the writes. So 
First here I have to um, send the device opcode. So here the, the most significant but, um, nipple here is always a four. And here we have the value of our address pins, which I have put to ground. So I will write them both to null or all three to null. And this bit indicates where we want to read or write from our to the device. If it's set to zero, we will do a read. If it sets to one, we will do a write. The next um, eight bits are the register address, and this is just the register map down here. So for example, if I want to access the GPIO um, register, I will write a nine here. And in a case of a write, the next byte is our um, data we want to write. In case of a read, this is a don't care, because a cool thing about um, SBI on every write transaction, you will get a read or you can get data back too. So because it's a full duplex interface, you have this slave input and a slave output. But I will show you how this works in the program. Okay, now we can actually start to write the program. But before we do so, you have to make sure you have SBI dev installed, which is the Python module for accessing the SBI bus. But as I already have it installed, I will just open Python 3. I will import SPI dev and I will create a new object from the class SPI dev SPI device. Okay. And then I will call the open function here, which needs two arguments. The first one is the number of SPI interface we will use. But if you look here, we see the Raspberry Pi has two SPI interfaces, SPI0 and SPI1. I will use SPI0. So I write a 0 here. And the next value is the chip select. We have two chip selects for SPI interface 0. And as I don't use chip select 0, but I use chip select 1, I will write a 1 in here. OK, next thing I have to do is I have to set the mode which is one here. And I have to set the maximum frequency in Hertz at which the um, interface operates. And I will set it to 500 Hertz here because speed doesn't matter so much in our application. So, and now we can transfer our first byte. Here we have to pass an array with all the bytes we want to transfer. So the first one is 14 hexadecimal because I want to do a um, write. The next one is the address. So here I will write the um, data register and I will write it to FE. So all GPIOs are inputs, but not GPIO zero. This is our output because we have connected our, um, our LED to GPIO zero. Let's write it. And here we get the, um, some data back which are from the slave input pin, but in this case, we just get zeros back. Okay, now let's try to set the LED. So I will write a one to output ledge address. And now let's look at the LED. Now the LED is on. Cool, isn't it? And if we write a zero here, the LED should turn off. Okay, and now we want to read in the button state. So now I have pressed it. And I will transfer the opcode. Now the least significant bit is set, so we know it's a read. I will read from address 9, and the last byte is a don't care. Uh, SPI bus, sorry. And if we look at the data, we will get some data back here. And this data contains the value of register 9. So let's see if. Um, the second bit and one shifted by one is true or for false. Okay, it's zero, so our button is not pressed. The reason why this upper bits are set is because the pins are floating as we haven't connected any pull up or pull down register to them, and so they will catch nearly random values. But if I press the button now and I do the um, read again, and I check um, the second bit of the third byte here. Yeah, we have a two here, so now the bit is set. Or if you look at it this way, 
we can also see okay now the first bit is set okay cool that's everything you need to access the SBI bus from Python on a Raspberry Pi. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something and you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.